What's going on everyone? Welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We finally hit my monetary goal for trying to buy the next part of the shop from Uncle. Um, we need 7500 for another 10%. We've got 15k. That should be enough. That feeling like we're losing out on most of our budget. We've been starting to get like bigger, more expensive builds. So, But we did level up a few times. We got T-Force Nighthawk Ram, which is like one of my favorite kinds of Rams in the game. First and foremost is the G-Skill Trident Z Royal Ram. Like, that's my favorite Ram um, to use. It just looks so clean, so crisp, and it's sparkly, so like, why not? What's not to love? Nighthawk Ram is also really cool. I really like the, like, the wings on the, on the heatsink. I don't know. Just a personal thing. But yeah, we got all the colors of that. We've also unlocked 7th Gen Intel Core CPUs and gotten some faster Ram. And MVB SSDs. So we're slowly making our way. I just thought I'd keep some of these emails to show you how far we progressed. Um, and then we've also got all of the HyperX Fury RAM unlocked as well. So that clears out our inbox a tiny bit. I have some systems coming in tomorrow to work on, but I just wanted to make sure y'all were here for paying Uncle Tim 7500 and watching our bank account go way down. Got our business transfer statement from Megacorp. We now own 20% of Tim's Red Hot repairs. Let's go ahead and discard that. And our balance is looking a little low, so we're gonna go ahead and end the day. Oh, well, another thing I wanted to update you guys on was PC Bay. So I bought everything that came in today already, but I wanted to show you the outcome of our uh, first PC that we put up on PC Bay. We didn't quite hit 340 or 350 like I was expecting, but we did make our money back and that's all that really matters. Um, we have another one up on auction that's a little bit more powerful than this one that's already surpassed the final bid on the first one and that one still has three days so we'll see how that goes the cryo rig h7 quad lumi goes for 20 dollars just from the inventory used so that would be something you watch the market for i don't really follow that so i'm gonna go ahead and collect the auctions for those two and then we'll wait on this one for when that's done we'll go ahead and close up pc bay for now because i bought everything and end the day and then we have our pcs for today it's just a couple of things we have a scan and we have an upgrade i bought this one from pc bay and that okay i remember now I bought this one from PC Bay. I wanted to see what its 3D Mark score was for the GPU and CPU so that if I need to upgrade one or the other, we can do that and potentially make more money on it. We want to get a better CPU score. That's what it is. Okay. So to match the platform that it's on, which is the Skylake form, uh, form factor, Skylake socket. Where am I going? I'm going to inventory. We can search for Skylake. We should have a 6700K. No, we don't. So maybe we can't upgrade that so instead of matching the gpu which is higher we can match the cpu which is lower i've never really done this i usually try to upgrade to maximize the profit on pc bay but then also because a lot of the higher like people often want the higher grade cards with new parts and we can't really use old parts or like used parts i usually try to get rid of the higher stuff first but in this case it might it might work in our favor the cpu clocked in around 3500 we can go find a comparable GPU. Okay, I think I'd rather use the 970 over the 1060. Put all those cables back in. It had blue cables, but I think with that green graphics card, you might switch that. Nah, get a literal RGB going. All right, so while that's running 3D Mark, we can work on our repairs. I think all we have to do is remove viruses, so program should be on here already. Yeah, the virus scanner program is here already. 360, not a lot, but still, still enough. We don't have to run 3D Mark. Let's go ahead and put this in the delivery area. Some free money. I think she was gonna give us like a hundred bucks. For now, let's go ahead and check on this one because the 3D mark I saw just finished. And that is a slightly more even. It's still a little bit under, but I'd prefer that over uh, what it was. So let's go ahead and put this over here. So now we can collect the scan really quick because that was easy. Bada bing, bada boom, $110. What new parts did we get? We got a couple new cases. And okay, just one new case and some power supplies. So now let's get to work on these emails so that we can order parts and then we can just do one day shipping for all of them so that when we order everything, we can just get the, the RAM and do that real quick. What else did it need? Because I'm pretty sure I got everything else I needed for it. I just forgot the RAM. Vanessa Scott wants a new PC. The budget is 2250. You can do a lot with that. And they just want to be able to play Sail Away. The sailing simulator at recommended specs. So we'll be able to play the game at recommended specs. They need an i7-6700 and a 1050 Ti minimum. 
They barely, barely need anything for their C for their GPU. It's just mostly CPU. Do they have any part loyalty? G skill. It's a good thing I checked. Something to keep in mind when you're picking out a motherboard is making sure that it's not locked um, for RAM speed. So like some of the max RAM speeds only go up to 3000. So the motherboard that I picked out, the highest RAM speed it can support is 3000. So we got to make sure to only go up to 3000. I've been getting like whatever RAM in the past. And um, I don't know. It's just something to watch out for, I guess. So I figured I'd comment on it and actually try to stick to it this time. Um, I really want to get a team group, the Nighthawk RAM, but they want G-Skill parts. So I guess we'll grab them some Rip Jaws. I think we'll be good with a 980, actually. This is fine. This is all they need. I'm trying not to, like, just kind of go all out. I also want to be aware of their needs and not go too overboard, even though they have the budget. Having the budget for the biggest and best graphics card is one thing, because that's, like, what you want to put your money into. But if all they need is the bare minimum, I'm going to put more budget into, like, the rest of the system. Just to try to, like, make it look pretty. So I got the O11 Dynamic, everyone's favorite. Why not? I don't know, I'm just, like, I, I usually build in, like, the cheapest cases. But I wanted to mix it up for this one. It's a nice case. Um, could, you know, everyone loves it. It's a fan favorite. Um, I personally would not choose it for myself in black. I would choose it in white. I think the white just looks a lot cleaner. All right, so there it is all completed. I think I'm gonna move this back up top. I had it up there originally, but then I re remembered why I picked this case, or why people love this case, is because the AI, like the radiator can go over here. But now the issue is that the game doesn't automatically turn this thing uh, over. So now it's just blocking that and it looks hideous. So I think I'm gonna fix that. But yeah, that's the finished build. I'm gonna change the RGB. It's rather unfortunate, actually, because that's where I would have liked to put the radiator. It just doesn't look good because they don't turn this in the game. There might be a way to do water cooling in here in which the radiator can sit over here. And I think you can strap the radiator here. Or the, the pump there, like, to this little back panel here. Oh well. I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to get this case because, you know, everyone likes it. And in real life, I'm sure it's super versatile and you can do whatever you want with it, but in game it's just, it's not that good. <laughs> As far as customizability, you're, you're really, really limited. We'll run 3D Mark and then fix the lighting because the writing, the lighting looks atrocious. It looks better. I don't know. I really wish you can change the the AIO pump too, but I guess it makes sense. They want you to be able to show the temperature color wise as well. Ah, oh, I forgot the new cables. Oops. Took our score down a tiny bit. So then, honestly, I can just they needed an eight day, so we can just end the day today. Go tomorrow. Go to tomorrow. And then come back to it when it's done. In the morning. Oh, this is a Silverstone case that I've been wanting to try out. It's a little bit more cramped because of this upper part. Which I don't quite understand because you can still take this off and you still have handles. And what, like, what else can you put up here? That's it. It just protects the IO, I guess. Weird. I don't know. I had the idea we could do like a console killer episode where we like try to build kind of a look-alike for the price of a console but much much beefier just an idea and i thought i was gonna use this case because i think that's the case i was looking at in the store but i think there's another one that looks a lot closer and that's a lot smaller to a ps5 that we can use but I, I thought this was it i guess i guess not so what did this one need this one needed a new power supply and green cables easy enough we're taking out all the cables anyways for the power supply you know what this one's not gonna make it to the next stage it's gonna tell us we have an uncorrectable hardware error, I think, because it's only got 350 watts, but that GPU is already pretty beefy. It's a 980 Ti. Well, it's holding its own. I should have put in the system, the system info, so we could see the specs on top. Interesting, because it also says diagnose and fix, and it's not fixed yet. There's only one hard drive installed. No, there's two. I wonder if this one's broken. Nope, not broken. I think that's still dust on the back here, though. Maybe? Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, I guess now we can check out the system info because that's interesting that um, 350 is enough. Oh, uh, well, that's running because I think it's safe to go now. We can check on this one. 3D marked. Good. 
Lighting looks good. We'll go ahead and put this in the delivery area. And then fix Scotty B's. System info. Yeah, I guess wattage is okay. That's crazy, it's holding at 345. I really thought it would exceed it. The more you know, I guess. Cool, 3D Mark survived. Go ahead and put this in the delivery area. Then collect these two once we get uh, Scotty's up and running on 3D Mark. Awesome, we got some new parts. We got Core i7 7700. That'll be really handy. And then another M.2 drive. Cool. We got a broken PC on PC base, so let's go pick that up. We'll grab this fan too. We'll just buy everything. We'll, we'll also grab this CPU. Why not? And then our current bid on the 6600K is 169 and there's four days left, so we'll probably... Oh, this one's up to 642. Interesting. Similar... Similar specs. So we might be able to get at least 500 out of this other one too. That's cool. Good to know. All right. That makes me happy. <laughs> it's easy money. Just gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll be it for today, actually. There's not really anything to unlock until level 13? Yeah, I think that's really it that we wanted to do for today. The next upgrade is, um, or the next unlock that I really want to get to is the GPU tuner and the custom water cooling shop. And that custom water cooling shop is at 16, so I'm going to go ahead and level up off screen, build up our funds a little bit so we'll be able to afford it without going bankrupt, in addition to buying all the parts for the next build. I could have you here until I do the GPU tuner, but that's really not anything important or like anything exciting, TBH. Um, it just unlocks basically more overclocking builds, which I'm not a huge fan of, just because like I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I'm really not good at overclocking. There's plenty of guides on Steam if that's really your thing. If you want to give that a try, you know, go ahead and download the game for yourself. I highly encourage it. This is honestly the best way to learn how to build a PC. It's a cheaper way to build multiple PCs. And um, yeah, it's just overall really fun. I really like it. I've been playing this game for years, so... I kind of know what it's about. I kind of know what I enjoy about it and, you know, what I what I want to get out of this playthrough. So, um, I highly suggest you go buy the game for yourself. I don't know. Maybe you already own the game. Maybe you just want to give me more tips on how to overclock. I'm not opposed, TBH. I just, I just don't know how to do it efficiently. <laughs> the one thing I do know about it is that, you know, if you got a dud, a dud CPU um, and it's not hitting the overclock that you need, it might not be the CPU you need and you got to buy another one. That's really the place that I get stuck because I'm just like, oh, I can push it, I can push it, I can push it, and I refuse to buy another one. So that's like, I don't know, my biggest flaw? Question mark? Who knows? But yeah, I'll see you when I get to level 16 and we get the custom water cooling stuff opened because those are really, really cool. I really do enjoy custom water cooling, getting all the bends and everything perfect and making it look clean. So really excited for that. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next episode with water cooling. Leave a comment down below if you have any tips for the G for overclocking CPUs and GPUs, because I sure do need the help. Thank you all so much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.